Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amar Kumara. In this video, we are going to create single bundle of the created dist files. But before that, let's open app.component.html file. And we'll delete all the content. Here we will write something simple. Let's write h1 tag and in the header we'll write technology list. We'll create an unordered list and we'll provide some list values such as micro frontend, angular, react, view, etc. Now we'll start the server and see if it works fine or not. To start the server, we'll run the command ng s hyphen o. As we can see, our changes are reflecting fine over the browser. Now we'll build the project again. To build the project, first of all, we'll stop the server and run the command npm run build colon take hyphen list colon extract. It will just update the dist folder with the latest code change. Now build has been successfully done with the latest code change. Let's proceed with creating single bundle of the generated files. I have created a custom file called build-elements.js and to save the time, I have written the code already. So let's understand it. We require two packages named as fs-extra and concat. fs-extra is required to ensure the directory and concat is required to concat the files. We have created an async function named as build. Inside it, we'll get the project name by running this code process.argv.slice2 at 0th index. Now, if the project name is empty or undefined, then we'll log the console. Please define project name. Otherwise, it will just go to the else block and will create this constant that is files underscore es 2015 which will have an array of file path that has been generated in the dist folder so we have dist folder then we have the project name in our case it is take hyphen list and the javascript file that is polyfill hyphen webcom hyphen es5.js now whatever files have been generated are generated with hashing so we'll disable the hashing so that this random number will not be appeared in the file we'll do that in the next step for now just consider that there are no random numbers or no hashing in the file name generation so we have used these file names now we are ensuring the directory in the next line whether our elements directory is generated or not currently we are not able to see any elements folder inside it but when we'll run the command to create the single bundle then an elements folder will be generated inside take list folder as well so we are ensuring whether the elements folder has been generated or not after that we are running the concat function which requires the first parameter as the array of file paths and it will just convert to a single file with a name of project name hyphen web component hyphen es2015.js you can give any name as you like but i have given this and it will be created inside elements folder that will appear inside take list folder after a while similarly if anyone wants es5 files then we have done the same thing here there is no change in it just for the naming convention we have generated a es5 file file is you please have a look of this file and write the code on your own let me make more space for you now this is the code which you need to write in the build-elements.js file and this file should be created in the root folder of the application so we have an application called tech-list and inside this, this is the root folder. We have created this build-elements.js. Now we have closed all the files and we'll open package.json file of tech-list folder. So let's open that. Here in the build tech list for an external command, we will add a flag called hyphen hyphen output hyphen hashing with value none. This command will remove the hashing in the generated files in the dist folder. Also, we'll run a command after providing 2 ampersand node and we'll pick the custom file that is build-elements.js and we'll pass the project name as tech-list. We'll save the file and this tech-list name that is the project name will be passed to this build-elements.js file which we are getting through this command that is process.argv.slice to at 0th index. Since we have used these two packages that is fs-extra and concat, we need to install it in the dev dependencies. So let's do it. To install fs-extra, we'll run the command using yarn as yarn add fs-extra and we need to install it as a dev dependency. So we'll pass a flag as hyphen capital D and we'll press enter. As the command is successfully done, we can check in package.json file that fs-extra package has been added in the dev dependencies. Similarly, we'll add the second package that is concat. We'll run the command yarn add concat 
5.d and we'll open the package.json file here we can see that concat package has been added now we'll run the build command that is build colon take hyphen list colon externals so please focus on the already created file structure and let's see what will be the file structure and the naming convention of the file after running this build command so let's run the build command to run the command we'll write npm run and then build colon take hyphen list colon external and press enter so we do not have any elements folder inside it but let's see if it creates or not command has been successfully ran and we can see that hashing has been removed from the file names but single bundle has not been created or elements folder is not created maybe because we are not calling the build function let's see that in the build elements.js file so we have this build function and yeah we are not calling it by default so let's call it save the file and run the command again now the command has been successfully completed and if we open this folder then we can see that an elements folder has been generated inside which we have two files one is named as es5 and es2015 both are same because both are getting generated by concatting four files that is main.js polyfill-webcomp-es5.js polyfill-webcomp.js and scripts.js we can embed the script file and the angular element that is tech hyphen list inside any application and we can load this application inside any application to load the content of app component.ht so let's do that in our next video and if you have any query then please let me know in the comment section let's meet in the next video till that be happy take care signing